Oh yeah, class, this is a gamma ray spectroscopy. This is possibly the most exciting uh, thing that will happen to you all year, uh, apart from the other experiments in physics 270. What we're going to do is, we're going to, in the same way that you can use a diffraction gradient to look at the wavelengths inside light, you can use a sodium iodide detector and this multi-channel analyzer to look at the energies of gamma rays that come off naturally radioactive uh, substances. Where there's radioactivity, there's three things can happen. It can spit out an alpha particle, which is a helium nucleus. You can spit out an electron or a positron, that's called beta radiation. Or you can have gamma radiation, where that's most akin to atomic physics, where you're just in an excited state and you just de-excite and spit out some light. That's typically what's going to go on here, but there are some surprises. So you're going to, I'm, all I've done, we're going to calibrate this uh, instrument, and all I've done is I've followed very, very carefully this really simple, comprehensive, easy to read, useful manual, a copy of which will be here and on the website. I pre pres presume Randolph gives me uh, permission to post it. Um, so here's the situation. You don't, we're going to um, walk in, the computer will be up here, there's no problem with this computer, we'll turn it on. When we turn it on, it's going to, uh, it may every time install, I'm not too sure why it does this. It's been doing it for me a little bit. Uh, okay, it's not doing it. That's grand. So now I'm going to start the, um, the software here. It's, uh, this is UCS 30. It's asking us to stand by. Super duper. Now I've got the, uh, interf this is the software interface for it. Let's enlarge it. We're going to have to calibrate it. Uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll go to settings and we'll do the amplifier. The voltage is off. We're going to have to turn on the high voltage. We're going to put 740 volts. In class, I'll talk about this and actually inside the manual, that's a pretty comprehensive explanation. This is a sodium iodide detector. We need to put 740 volts across some electronics down here. There's a crystal here. When a gamma ray comes in, it scintillates. That means it, set, it sets off it sends out visible light. As the gamma ray goes through, it just leaves a streak of visible light. That visible light is picked up in photomultiplier tubes. And that's the thing that needs 740 volts to amplify a current from a given um, uh, dumping of energy. So uh, we'll leave the coarse grain at 8. These LLDs and ULDs, uh, leave those alone. Conversion gain, uh, 4096. What that means is this. That this is going to take this box here takes an analog signal and it converts it in, into a into a channels uh, into 4096 channels so that you can have a finer resolution on your energy. This is uh, called an analog to VHF converter. Okay, we're good. Now let's see what this means. I'm going to put in a cesium. I'm going to put in a source. I think that there's a cesium source in here. There's no source at the moment. Our sources are very um, low activity sources. So let's say, let's take the barium source. What, what's this? What is this? Over I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it here. Now that's spitting out gamma ray. And now I'm going to click go. And now what are we seeing? These are, these are counts. Let's pause immediately and see what just happened. Let's stop. And look. In this channel, whatever that means, there's been, let's put, a, let's put the, um, the cursor over it. This is channel 585, and there's been 143 pulses corresponding to the energy of this channel. This is no good to us as it stands. We have to calibrate it. So now we're going to go through the calibration procedure. So to go through the calibration procedure, again, I followed a very simple procedure. It's actually referred to as an experiment. In this manual, there's about 15 experiments. Uh, you'll be given a list of experiments that you have to do, and then you can choose from a couple of others. But you'll be busy for two weeks, but you'll be, you'll be going through this machine. Uh, you'll be going through this uh, catalogue, doing performance of the experiments. What we're going to do now is calibration. That means it's this. We're going to put in two known sources, and we're going to look at the peaks from known sources, and we're going to match them up with the above the energy. The first known source we're going to put in is sodium-20. I'm, uh, I'm going to erase this. And now I've got some. And again, I just chose this because I'm following the manual. I, I'm going to put in some sodium 22. There's something super amazing that happens with sodium 22 that I think you'll, you might die when you hear what goes on with it. Okay, watch this. Go. What we have to do is we have to make our world look like. Uh, we have to bring this out so that the graph looks like this page here. So there's one peak, see one peak, 
there's another peak. I see another peak. There's this curve here, and then there's this business here. Ah, we've done it. If it didn't look like this, I would go to the presets and change the gains. I've done this already, so everything is cool. This is the sodium uh, 22 spectrum. Now I'm going to stop, and I'm going to get magnesium. The magnesium 54. I put that in here. Magnesium 54 is going to give us another bump somewhere in the middle here. We, we know that this is the... We know this already. This is why we're doing the calibration. And look, you see this bump growing. This is from magnesium 54. These two guys are from sodium 22. This is from magnesium 54. Now when I have a peak that I'm confident I can, I can locate the maximum of, I'm going to tell it what the appropriate energy is. Now, when this is getting a little bit stronger, I'm going to tell you something. This first peak here, happens at 511 keV. 511 keV is 0.511 MeV, and that's exactly the mass of the electron. Oh my god, coincidence? I think not. In this little pellet of sodium-22, in this little pellet, there's anti-particle, anti-electrons are born. They're spit out of the sodium-22 nucleus. And the first thing this anti-electron sees is a regular atomic electron from the sodium-22 atom. And it it meets it, and it turns into two photons of pure energy. Each of them, uh, each of them have a mass equivalent of the, uh, of the electron mass, which is 511 kV. That's why the spike here is 511 kV. It's absolutely amazing. There's antimatter coming out of this, so it can turn into pure light, and the wavelength of that light corresponds to the mass of the electron. Okay. Now we can stop. 